Hello, hello. It's time to start with this class. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hello, Hi, welcome. Good evening. Welcome to this class. Thursday. Thursday already. Wow. Vamos muy rápido con el tiempo. Estamos en jueves ya. Y este jueves lo vamos a aprovechar bastante. Esta clase. Vamos a hacer un repaso general, ¿ok? Hey, good evening. Great. So I just see Samuel and Carlos Manuel. Oh, Marina is right there. Excellent. Don't forget to have your cameras on in the whole class. Okay. I'm still missing Zaira, Claudia, Kelly, Catherine, Merida, Amilcar, Stacy. Please, cameras on. Teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, so, I can have a camera off. Uh, I am a little sick. Oh, really? Ah, because of yesterday you told me, right? Ayer me dijo. Entiendo perfectamente. Okay, fine. Gracias, amiga. Bien. Los demás, ¿cómo estamos los demás? Cameras on. Okay, Kelly. Muy bien, Kelly. Okay, excellent. Now I can see you. Excellent, guys. Very good. Who can tell me what day is it today? Is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Or what day is it today? Today is Thursday. Thursday, jueves. Thursday what? Thursday. Excellent. Thursday, March 24th. 2022, 2022. So I already have 19 students. Wow, just on time. Excellent job. You are on time. Somos muy puntuales. Eso es muy bueno de este grupo. Just on time. So I'm still missing. Let me see. Cameras on, please. Cameras on. Don't forget, cualquier caso inconveniente que ustedes tengan de poder asistir a la clase. O de igual manera con el equipo, siempre dejemos la observación en el chat de WhatsApp también. Para que en el caso de las personas de eh, administración de la academia puedan saber también qué está pasando, si hay algún detalle, algún problema. Y que podamos reportarlo a tiempo, ¿ok? Class, how are you today? Are you okay today? Are you tired today? How do you feel today? How do you feel? Are you happy today? I want to listen to you. Talk to me. How are you? ¿Cómo estamos, clase? I feel very happy. You feel very happy. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. How about the rest of the class? Oh, okay. Ingrid está teniendo problemas de señal. Gracias, Ingrid, por dejarnos saber. Bien, clase. Do you remember the topic from yesterday? What was the topic? ¿Qué estábamos viendo ayer? What was the topic from yesterday? Yesterday we were practicing. Uh -huh. We were making comments about jobs. Comments about jobs. And we were practicing giving opinions, okay? For today, let me show you what are we going to have today. We are going to have a review. We are going to have a review, okay? El, give me five minutes more and we are going to call the roll. Vamos a pasar la lista en cinco minutos, okay? Excellent. So for today, what do we have for today? We are going to have a midterm review. A review from the previous topics that we have already covered, okay? This is beginner two, 
midterm review and we are going to start with the class right now okay let me ask you did you visit the platform today did you complete a uh, section number three what do you do already did you finish with that section or do you still have problems with the platform or maybe with the exercises ya completamos la section number three class yes or no Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, no, teacher. Yes. How about yes. section number one and section two? Come on, on section number one and section number two. Did you finish with that activity already? Yes, right? Hopefully, yes. So, yes. you know, I can check. Vamos a ver cómo vamos con el cumplimiento de las actividades. Recordemos que Es algo que se nos está recordando constantemente en el chat. De igual manera, clase. Eh, necesitamos completar las evaluaciones y, en este caso, las tareas de las secciones a tiempo. ¿Ok? Porque eh, recordemos que también se toma el tiempo para ir verificando, chequeando uno por uno las actividades. Imagínense en cada sección cuántas actividades tenemos. Entonces, por cada alumno revisar tantas secciones, Sí puede tomar un tiempo, entonces retrasa un poco el trabajo o el avance que queremos darle semanalmente cuando no se completan las secciones indicadas. En este caso, esta semana era un poco más fácil, solo tenemos sección número 3. Eh, así que les motivo, les motivo a los que no han cumplido todavía con las secciones 1 y 2, ingresemos en la plataforma, completémosla. Si hay dudas para completar esas actividades, o la evaluación que tenemos en la sección 3, escríbanme. A varios los estuve apoyando este día, viendo que algunas veces les da eh, detalles en la escritura o les tira como error la respuesta que ustedes han ubicado. Siempre tratamos de ver qué pasa, porque la plataforma no les acepta la respuesta correcta. Entonces, siempre tratemos de pedir ayuda, ¿ok? Tanto en el chat o pueden contactarme individualmente para que podamos resolver. Veo todavía eh, varias personas, quiero ver cuatro personas que no han completado sección 1, 2 y 3. ¿okay? Si quieren al final, pues tienen consultas, escríbanme y yo les indico quiénes son los que me hacen falta. ¿okay? Si no, ustedes mismos saben cómo ve el progreso. Bien, class. So, let's go to the platform. Let's see what we have right now. Or let me see. I already have 24 students. I guess it's ready, you're ready to say present, right? Ya tenemos 24 estudiantes. Veamos quiénes fueron los puntuales. Vamos a ver. Please, do a verbal confirmation if you are in the class. ¿Se escuchan su nombre? Please, say present or here, okay? Here we go. Let's start with Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Present teacher. Excellent. Carmen Lisette Santillana. Present teacher. Very good. Claudia Lisette López. Present teacher. Excellent, Claudia. Delmi Carolina Sosa. Present. Excellent. Emma Jamilet Corea. Present. Gabriela Nicole Hueso. Present. Excellent. Gerson Antonio Hernández. Gerson Antonio Hernández. Ok. Ingrid Jamilet Arias. Present. Excellent. Irma Raquel García. Is Irma in the class already? Yes. Present. Ahí, ahí está. Muy bien, Irma. Excellent. Jaime Oswaldo Cortés. Present. Very good. Juliana Bergeli Martinez. Present. Okay. Karen Yvette Callejas. Present. Catherine Abigail Garcia. Present. Catherine Alicia Martinez. Present. Katia Elizabeth Serrano. Katia in the class. 
guess she is not. Kelly Magdalena Rivera. Present. Marina del Carmen Menéndez. Present. Marvin Raimundo Pinto. Present. Nereida Patricia González. Present. Okay. Stacy Nicole Rivera. I'm here. Excellent. Wendy del Carmen González. Present. Jancy Andrea Meléndez. Okay. And Zaira Jamilet Figueroa. Present. Very good. So, alguien que no haya mencionado o que no estaba listo para responder. Muy bien. Carlos Manuel Ramos. Veamos. Tell me. A mí también, teacher. Ok. También a mí, teacher. Carlos Manuel Ramos. Bernardo Antonio. En... Amilcar, ¿verdad? Venga, present teacher. Muy bien, Amilcar. Yo también, teacher, no me mencionó. Samuel, veamos que usted, Samuel. Aquí estamos, es verdad, Samuel. Ahí estamos. ¿Hoy sí ya? ¿Alguien más que no haya mencionado o todos estamos en la clase ya? ¿Sí? No sé si me tomó la, la asistencia. Sí, Bernardo, Bernardo, ahí estamos ya, ahí estamos. Muy bien, okay, gracias. Okay. Miren, hoy estamos iniciando bien, bien a tiempo con la asistencia. Eso me gusta. Siempre recuerden que también eh, la puntualidad cuenta porque cada minuto eh, de la clase está siendo auditado. Créanme que eh, se les pone, digamos, asistió 59 minutos, 58 minutos, solo 15 minutos. Entonces, tratemos de siempre cumplir con eso para que al final tengamos el 80% eh, de asistencia y de actividades también completadas en la plataforma sea total y así no tengamos ningún inconveniente para poder pasar al siguiente módulo. Ok. So class, I was telling you that today we are going to have a review, a review about the topics that are included in the midterm exam. Midterm exam. Si algunos ya lo tomaron, o oh, si algunos pues no lo han tomado, aquí vamos con el repaso. Look, midterm exam. First topic. There is and there are. There is and there are. This is the first topic that we have. It's a listening a section, a listening activity that you are going to have the first listening and then you're going to answer. There are, there are no, there are two or there are three. And that's it. But for this, we are going to Take a look at this one. The first topic that we have, it's related to home, sweet home, vocabulary about uh, apartments and houses. Apartment and houses, okay? But for that, we are going to watch a video in the platform. So, si tuvieron la oportunidad de mirar, de ir y tener ese video en la unidad, bueno, section number two, si se recuerdan. Eso está en la sección número dos, pero si no, si no lo han visto, pues vamos y vamos a completar ese ejercicio para que no quede ninguna duda. Vocabulary related to houses and apartments. Tell me class, do you live in a house or in an apartment? House or apartment? In a house. In a house. 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 Okay. In the house. House, house, not apartment. House. 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 Apartment. Apartment, okay, very good. So houses, apartments, houses and apartments. Who else? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más no me ha opinado? Houses, apartments. House. House, right? In my case, I live house. in a house. 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 In the house, very um, good, house. So look at this one. This is the video that I was talking about, vocabulary house and apartment. Take a look at this video. We are going to listen right now, and then we are going to have a practice, okay? Here we go, let's make it bigger. And remember that you can read. Aquí tenemos también eh, 
lo que está diciéndose en el video. Por si hay algún problema de entender o algo así, aquí tenemos en, en esta parte también, donde ustedes pueden apoyarse en la plataforma. So, here we go. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Sí, se escucha. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has yes. two Yes, okay. Two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. Okay. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, excellent. So here we go. We're going to practice, practice right now. Practice, okay? So look at this one. What do we have or how do we section? ¿Cómo seccionamos una casa? We have, in some cases, the first floor and the second floor. First floor, second floor. How about your house? Do you have a second floor or just one floor, the first floor? Un nivel, dos niveles. O, oh, ¿cómo le llamamos en español? La primera planta y la segunda planta. First floor. Second floor. Yeah. First and second floor. First and second floor. What else do we have? Look, in the first floor, we can have the garage, the laundry room, the kitchen, the dining room. What is a dining room? What, what do we do in a dining room? Hmm? Uh -huh, so what do we do in a dining room? Eat. To eat, right? Maybe to have a lunch together or maybe breakfast. And at night, we can have dinner. Dining room, very good. And what else can we have in the first floor? A jar or a back jar. Back jar. Okay. Take a look at this one. Living room, living room. There we can have the sofa, the television. Um, what else can we have in the living room? Just that, right? A TV. TV. The TV, mm -hmm. ugly, the sofa, yeah, that's what I have. So first floor, first floor in el primer piso. How about second floor? Look. In this house, they have a bedroom. Of course, we need to have stairs. You know what is the meaning of stairs? Mm -hmm. So we can go from the first floor up to the second floor using the stairs. Ah, and look, they have a bathroom as well. And they have a hole. What is a hole? What is the meaning of hole? Look, hole. What is hole? Exactly. Es un pasillo. But you can go through the different rooms from the second floor. So let's repeat. First floor. First floor. Everybody. First floor. Let's repeat. Okay. First floor. Repitamos. First floor. First floor. First floor. Garage. 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 Laundry room. 
laundry room. What do you do? Okay, what do you do in the laundry room? What do you do there? Uh, wash. Huh? Wash what? Clothes. So wash, ah, okay. Clothes. But remember, in English, we don't say I'm no. washing the clothes. No, we say I'm doing the, the laundry. laundry. Exactly, we ah, do the laundry. Exactly, there. Kitchen, let's repeat, kitchen. 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 Kitchen, kitchen. kitchen. very kitchen. good. Kitchen. Dining room. Dining, dining room. room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. room. One more time. Look at this word. Room. 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 La M al final. Room. 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 Oh, excellent. Porque room. yo escucho esto. Room. Room. Me dicen room. room. Esto estoy escuchando. Dining room. 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 Excellent. Room. Very good pronunciation. Dining room. Room. Uh, yard. 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 yard, yard, living room, living, living room. room, living room. Okay, let's go to the living. second floor, living room. Second uh, floor, second floor. Bedroom. 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 bedroom, 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 bedroom. Okay, bedroom. stairs. 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 Bathroom. 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 One more time. Bathroom. 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 Esa TH que suene. Bathroom. Bathroom. Excellent pronunciation. Bathroom. Uh, room. Okay, excellent. Hall. 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 Okay. Hall. So that's what we have uh, in a regular house. Okay. Let's go to the apartments. Apartments are smaller places to live. Smaller. Son mucho más pequeños. Okay. Smaller places. And we have the lobby, lobby. What is the lobby? It's like the main entrance, right? It's where you get to the apartment, apartment. And we also have an elevator, elevator. Now, when you are in the apartment, cuando ya estamos adentro del apartamento, tenemos a bedroom, bedroom, and a closet. If we go to another room, we have the living room and a small kitchen. So let's repeat, lobby, lobby. 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 Elevator. Elevator. Lobby. ¿Cómo se traduce eso? Lobby, lobby. Lobby. Así eh, como se lobby. Así como se lee, así se escribe. Lobby. No, y es que lobby. lobby. Class, what is a lobby? Look at, look at the picture. Quiero que vean la imagen. Describa, what, is, what is the lobby? Not really. Como el pasillo para entrar. Exacto. It's like the main entrance. La entrada principal. The lobby. Me voy al lobby, dicen algunos. Si vamos a un hotel, también tenemos esa parte, el lobby. Es yeah. como la parte de abajo, la entrada principal, lobby. Y luego tenemos elevator. 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 In Spanish, what is in Spanish elevator? Elevador. Ajá, ascensor le decimos, o oh, elevador. Uh -huh. Elevador. Where can we find elevators? ¿A dónde más podemos encontrar elevators? Where? In Metro Hotel. Mm -hmm. Metro so Central. Hospital. In the hospital. In the hotel. Very good. Metro Central. Yeah, Metro Central has a lot of elevators. And yeah. I guess here in El Salvador, all the places like those, they have an elevator. Casi todos los In the airport. Ajá, exactly. At the airport, 
they have an elevator or many elevators. Okay, let's continue with bathroom. 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 Bedroom. 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 Claudia Lisette, can you read number one, please? The first question. This one. What room are in house in your countries? Okay, what rooms are in houses in your country? Claudia, can you ask one of your classmates? I want to ask compañeros, pregúntele eso. Vamos. Hay que estar distraído. Now, right? <laughs> Go, Claudia. Samuel. Oh, ¿cómo es Samuel? <laughs> no está distraído, pero ahí aparece. <laughs> ah, ok, excelente. What room are in houses in your countries? Uh, um, three rooms. Look. There, there are three rooms. What rooms? Pero cuáles mencionemos? Uh, mm -hmm. Bathroom, living room, dining room, laundry room. Um, bedroom. And we also have the kitchen. The kitchen. Se escucha. Yes? Yes. Yeah. No sé si yeah, it's feedback. Mm -hmm, exactly. So that's okay, Samuel. Excellent answer. So, what is your opinion, class? Do you have the same opinion? What room are in houses in your Yes. Yeah. What am I having feedback? ¿Quién será el feedback? Nos está dando... Mi car tiene el micrófono encendido, entonces suena como... Really? Replica. Ok, let me see. Let me try this. I'm sorry. Lo siento si algunas veces lo desactivo el, el micrófono, pero es para que eh, nos concentremos un poquito más, ¿ok? Pero no hay problema. Ustedes pueden volver a encenderlo cuando participemos. So, les preguntaba... Do you have the same opinion? Tienen la misma opinión? What rooms are in houses in El Salvador? Do we have a laundry room here in El Salvador? Mm, no. Maybe not, no. right? <laughs> Do we have a living room in a dining room? Or is it the same? Do we have it together? Yeah. Yes, right? <laughs> it's the same. It's the same. We don't have that distinction. No es tan grande nuestra casa. Uh, how about do we have a kitchen, a room for a kitchen? Yes, right. Most the of the kitchen, time. Kitchen, the kitchen in the in the dining room is the same. The kitchen, the dining room, and the living room is all the same, right? So, but that's what we have. Let's see. Number two, um, Marina, ask one of your classmates. Ask one of your classmates this one. Number two, this one. Go, Marina. Pregúntale a uno de tus compañeros. What room or what rooms are in your house or apartment? Carlos, what rooms are in your house or apartment? Yes. ¿Me escucharon? Yes. Yeah. A Carlos le pregunté. Yes. Um, one, two. What rooms? Ese es plural clase. Fue error mío. Rooms. Go. They are six rooms. Uh -huh, but what room? In your house. We're talking about your house. What six room? Rooms. Okay, you have six rooms. Can you mention the rooms? Uh, 
sorry, five, five rooms. Uh, okay, go. Bed, bedroom, mm -hmm. uh, dining room, uh, living room, bathroom, okay, and kitchen. And kitchen, very good. So, what can we say? We can say, wait, let me make it bigger. There is a, pongámoslo en otras palabras, there is. There is a dining room. ¿Qué más hay en tu casa? There is a dining room. There is a living room. A living room. What else? Bathroom, bedroom. Bathroom and bedroom. So, look. Solo reemplazamos el room. Let me ask you. Let me see, Marvin, what rooms? are in your house or apartment? The rooms in my apartment are, uh, there is a bedroom. Okay. There is a um, living room, dining room, and kitchen in, in the same. The same, in the same room. The same room. Mm -hmm. Solamente es. Ok, very good. Muy buen el uso de there is, there is. ¿Qué significa entonces there is? Hay. 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 Un. Vamos a ver. Jancy, what rooms are in your house or apartment? Ok, cuando dice rooms, no se refiere a los dormitorios, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Los que tengo marcados en, en verde. Bedroom, um, bathroom, living room. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how many? How many there are? There is a kitchen. There is a dining room. There is a living room. Mm -hmm. There is a garage. Esa no lo mencioné. Okay. There, there are, no, there is a yard. And there are six bedrooms. Six bedrooms. Okay, mm. that's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can say that there are like five or six rooms at home, right? There is, there are. There is is for singular, there are for plural. Nereida, how, well, what rooms are in your house or apartment? Perdón, me puedes repetir, teacher? Great, what rooms? are in your house or apartment? What rooms? What rooms are in your house or apartment? ¿Qué habitaciones hay? Uh -huh. ¿Cuántos cuartos? Rooms. Hay? Uh -huh. three. three rooms. Oh, there are three rooms. There are, there are three rooms. Okay, which are they? ¿Cuáles son? What are the rooms at home? Mencionémoslos. Uh, living room. Okay, there is a living room. Excellent. Um, Kitchen. There is a kitchen. Um, bedroom. In a bedroom. In there a is bedroom. bedroom. Okay, excellent. So let me see the last two questions. Who I have here, uh, Carmen Lisette. What is your favorite room at home? What is your favorite room at home? It's a living room. It's the living room, okay. Because you watch TV at the living room. Yeah. Yes. Saira, what is your favorite room at home? Bedroom. The bedroom, right. Because we can <laughs> sleep there. Mine too, I really love my bedroom. Tell me, Carolina, what is your favorite room? Uh, living room. The living room as well. Excellent. 
Carmen Guadalupe, what is your favorite room at home? A bedroom. The bedroom. Jaime, what is your favorite room? My favorite room is bedroom. The bedroom as well. Irma, and you? What is your favorite room? Okay, there you are. Living room. The living room. Excellent. And how about you, Ingrid? What is your favorite room? My, the bedroom. The bedroom. Very good. Room, living room. Bedroom and living room. Okay. Gabriela. Gabriela Nicole, what is your favorite room at home? The living room. The living room. And Wendy? Your favorite room, Wendy? Um, my favorite room is bedroom. Your bedroom, exactly. How about Bernardo and Herson? What is your favorite room at home, guys? Bernardo and then Herson. The, li the living room. The living room. And you, Herson? My favorite room is the kitchen. Is the kitchen. Yes, right? The kitchen. Yes. ¿Por qué no lo mencionaron antes, clase? The kitchen. We love the kitchen, right? So, rooms. What rooms do you remember? Ahora que quito la presentación, ¿cuáles recordamos? What rooms do you remember? Living room. Bedroom. 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 So if we go to the platform, we can now have section number one from the midterm. Veamos. Section number one from the midterm exam. Vámonos. Section number three. Está el curso. Oh, wait. Creo que lo tengo acá. Ya lo tenía abierto. No, I don't. It's this one. There is, there are. Look, after the listening, now you can complete. There is and there are. There are no two or three. Depende del listening, vamos a completar eso. There are some chairs in. Identifican ustedes en qué parte de la casa les está mencionando. There are some chairs. Hay algunas sillas. ¿A dónde? En el dining room, living room, yeah. or kitchen. Cocina. Uh -huh. Y. Three, uh, Number three. Julia needs a. Ahí vamos a identificar eh, vocabulario sobre objetos que tenemos en casa. Julia necesita un microwave, microwave. Oh, a refrigerator, o a stove. Y estas son las cuatro partes de nuestro listening. Veamos la segunda parte. ¿Qué tenemos? Second part. Complete the conversation. Ah, look. Do and have. Vámonos a esta parte. Do and have. Let's have a practice. Do and have. It's right there. Veamos. Tengamos esta práctica para que podamos responder fácilmente. Do and have. Look. Do you live in an apartment? Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. Mm, no, I don't. Do the bedroom have closets? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Ethan live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. So, look. Este es siempre el simple present, pero en esta ocasión estamos usando respuestas 
cortas, short answers, okay? Short answers. So, look at this one. How do we make? ¿Será que me ayudan a poner la fórmula? ¿Cómo nosotros hacemos para hacer preguntas? En este caso estamos hablando de casas, houses, apartments, okay? ¿Qué necesitamos para hacer esto? Do. The auxiliary do. Or does. El auxiliar, muy bien. Las. Damos un uh, subject. Un subject. Un uh, subject. Okay, but wait. Let me make it smaller. I guess it's too big. Ajá. Auxiliary do or does. Teacher, yo no veo que esté escribiendo. Ok, ahorita sí. Yeah. I'm sorry. Gracias por decirme. Do or does, mouse. Subject. 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 Class. Class. Verb. Do or, or does. Te necesitamos un verbo. Yeah. Class. Complement. Class. Un complemento, muy bien. Complement. Yeah. Class. The question. question mark. And the question mark, exactly. No olvidemos eso. Do or does. Esto es para preguntar sobre el simple present. Presente simple. Tú vives en un apartamento. O tu cuarto tiene un closet. Tiene tu casa un patio. Estamos preguntando. Ok. Cuestionando. So. Do you live in an apartment? Si es afirmativo, ¿cómo respondemos? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I, I. ¿Por qué? Yes, Porque me están preguntando a mí. I. Y finalizamos oh. con do. Look. Siempre tengan este cuidado. O tomémoslo como una clave. Siempre que veamos con qué me están preguntando. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que están usando? Ese lo voy a usar para responder. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Does your house have a backyard? Does your house have a backyard? Yes, it does. Muy bien. Nunca, o sea, si se fijan, estamos usando el verbo tener. No podemos responder. Yes, it has. No. ¿Por qué no podemos responder? Porque nuestra pregunta no está iniciando con el verbo have. La forma correcta es yes, it, porque estamos refiriéndonos a un objeto, das. Lo mismo que le dije. Miren. ¿Con qué inicia nuestra pregunta? Con das. Wait, das. Por eso la respuesta correcta es esta, la de abajo. Yes, it does. Nunca va a ser yes, it has. Aunque estemos usando el verbo have aquí. ¿Ok? No confundamos esto. Si me están preguntando con das, ¿con qué voy a responder? Con el mismo auxiliar. ¿Ok? So, let's practice. Les pregunto lo mismo. Ustedes me dicen afirmativo o negativo. Affirmative or negative. Uh, let me see. Herson, do you live in an apartment? Do you live in an apartment? Mm -hmm. Is Herson in the class? Yes. Um, what... Uh, Mm -hmm. Repeat a question, please. Okay. Do you live in an apartment? Es la primera pregunta que tenemos. Okay. La que estoy okay. escribiendo. Okay. Vamos. Do you live in an apartment? Yes or no? Mm, negative, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay. Si es negativo, ¿cómo respondemos? Eh, eh, no. No, I, mm -hmm. no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Bien. Bernardo, do you live in an apartment? Mm, 
No, I don't. No, I don't. Stacy, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. No, I don't. Catherine Abigail, does your house have a backyard? Does your house have a backyard? Catherine? Class, don't forget to have your cameras on. Estoy preguntando ahorita a los que tienen cámaras apagadas. No olvidemos encenderlas siempre, ¿ok? So, let me see. Jaime, does your house have a backyard? Uh -huh. Yes or no? Yes, I do. I does. Yes, it does or no, it doesn't. Yes, it does or no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Acuérdense que it lo usamos por qué? Porque estamos hablando de un lugar. Y para yeah. mm, animales, cosas, lugares, vamos a usar it. It, it. Very good. Gabriela Nicole, does your house have a backyard? Yes, it does. Okay. Emma, does your house have a backyard? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. Sí tiene. Yes, it does. Very good. Who else? ¿Quién más tengo acá? Carlos Manuel, does your house have a backyard? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Very good. Yes, it does. So who can ask me? ¿Quién me pregunta a mí? Ambas preguntas. Vamos. Practice. Yes. Do you like a farmer? In apartment? No, I don't. Does your house have a backyard? Yes, it does. A big backyard. Yes, it does. Very good job. So, do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. ¿Cómo es la fórmula que vamos a usar? Do or does plus subject plus verb and complement. And then you were saying the question mark. No olvidemos el signo de interrogación. So, veamos si podemos aplicar eso en nuestro ejercicio. Here we go. Number one, conversation. Look. ¿Qué dice? Do you live alone? No, I don't. And then we have the conversation. Look. Dice, your apartment building an elevator. Está preguntando si el apartamento o el edificio de apartamento tiene un elevador. Let's see. ¿Qué sería? Let me complete this one. Does your apartment building have an elevator? Okay, so first, reemplacemos your apartment building, este sería el sujeto, por un pronombre. ¿Cuál sería el pronombre clásico? Uh -huh. Sería it. it. Exactly. Entonces, vamos a ocupar con he, she, and it, vamos a ocupar does. I, you, we, and they, vamos a ocupar do, auxiliar, ¿ok? Siempre aplica la forma de la tercera persona que para he, she, and it, en este caso vamos a usar el qué. Look, does. I, you, we, and they, ¿qué auxiliar vamos a usar? Look. Entonces, eso tengámoslo claro. Veamos primero cómo sustituimos el nombre, en este caso el sujeto, por un pronombre. Y cuando nosotros lo hacemos así, es mucho más fácil identificar. Oh, ahora ya sé que es it, 
¿En cuál de mis dos grupos está? Ah, está acá en it. Entonces, el auxiliar que voy a ocupar es... Dos. Das. 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 Y el verbo obviamente va a ser... Have. ¿Cuál de las tres opciones es la correcta? Number one, two or three. Two. 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 Number two. Exactly. Aunque me digan mis, pero la uno y la tres se repiten. Que se repitan. Como no es la opción correcta, no interesa. La opción correcta está ahí en number two. So, así traten de identificar cuál va a ser la opción correcta. ¿Ok? Preguntas sobre este ejercicio o ya lo realizaron o cómo estamos con esto. ¿Claro? Is it clear? Yes, no? Yes, yes, yes. Mm, yes okay. Let me see if it's clear. Veamos el número dos. Yes, it. Siempre es la conversación. Miren, A and B. Tiene que ver con la misma conversación. Conversation number one, A and B. Conversation number two, we have A and B. The same. Look, let's do the same. What if we have this one? Let's replace the bathrooms. Reemplacémoslo por un pronombre. The bathrooms, it's plural. It, it, no, but look, it's plural. It's plural. No puede ser it. The bathroom. They ate. Mm -hmm. Be careful. No solo porque dice bathroom. Si es plural, cambia el pronombre. Ya sé entonces cuál es mi pronombre. ¿En qué grupo está? En he, she, it. No. I, you, we, they. Yes. Como está en el segundo grupo, vamos a usar das. Or do. 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 Okay. Ahora ya sé que es do. So, what is the correct option? One, two, or three? The Number two. two. The Number two. two. Pero la uno y la tres se repite. No importa como no es la respuesta correcta que se repite. Okay. Si sí está clara esta parte. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. So, ahora les queda section, no conversation two, and reply. Let's go to the next one. This one, there is, there are only two exercises, no, three exercises. Look, I need you to, aquí solo las van a ordenar. Tengan el cuidado que cuando iniciamos, tell me. Sí, yo en este ejercicio tuve problemas uh -huh. en Bye. la primera y en la segunda. Ok, les doy una sugerencia. Muchas veces el problema está acá en isn't. Quizás nosotros no ponemos el apóstrofe, sino que ponemos o una tilde o algo más. Pero si quieren copien y peguen acá. Dos, segunda sugerencia, que la primera palabra siempre inicie con mayúscula. Uh -huh. para, que la, para que la respuesta sea correcta. ¿Qué otra sugerencia no puedo dar? Si no les acepta, entonces tratemos de poner la forma completa. En lugar de poner isn't, ¿cómo sería la forma completa? Y is, is not. not. Is not. not. Pongamos la forma completa. Ok, tratemos de esas tres maneras. Okay. Probé y de ninguna manera me aceptaba. Solo cuando le quité la, por ahí alguien me ayudó en el grupo, que le quitamos la mayúscula al inicio y el punto al final. Punto. Se uh -huh. han fijado que hay otros ejercicios en la plataforma que les dicen. Dice que ya están. Que punto. Ajá, que ya están, pero acá no lo veo. Pero aquí en la 2 y la 3, sí se, le poníamos el punto y salía correcta. Okay. Y en la primera, ¿no? Vale, bueno, let's do this. Eh, háganlo y si no les funciona, envíenlo al grupo, al chat y lo resolvemos, ¿ok? Aquí solo son tres. ¿Ok? Aquí solo es de ordenar. Number four, veamos. Ah, this is what we had. Este, ¿Se acuerdan de esta clase? It was this week. Mm -hmm. We were talking about okay. jobs and mm -hmm. professions. ¿Ok? Yeah. This is just identify. Identifiquen nada más 
Eh, ¿De quién estamos hablando? Works in a hospital. ¿Quién trabaja en un hospital? Nurse. I don't think it's a nurse. pilot or a salesperson. It's a nurse. nurse. Okay. Okay. And then we have the same. Talks to people. Aquí está la palabra acá. At a hotel. hotel. And reception. reception. Mm -hmm. It's not a singer or a cook. I guess not. Mm -hmm. Sits all day. Es una descripción. Se sienta todo el día. Yeah. I, uh -huh. uh, I don't think it's musician in police office. Let's see. And then we have the same. Works. Job. It says. Ah, esta sí la completamos en clase. How do they like it? Where do you work? And what do you do? Okay. De acuerdo a la respuesta, ustedes identifican cuál de las tres preguntas nos eh, es apropiada. Ok, esto sí lo trabajamos en clase esta semana. And then we have section eh, F, the same, have and has, have and has, the same. We are going to use have with I. You, we, and they. El verbo have. Oh. On the other hand, we have he, she, and it with has. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a singer, a singer. Si reemplazamos a singer por un pronombre, ¿cuál es? If we replace a singer for a pronoun, it's, it can be he or she. Sí. Mm -hmm. He or she, we don't know. Aquí no sabemos quién, he or she. Entonces, como sabemos que está en nuestro segundo grupo, it's going to be has. has. Okay, has. and I have number two uh -huh. and number three with has. Okay. Entonces, ¿cómo sé si es la número dos o la tres? Here, el uso de a and and. Dijimos que vamos a usar a. ¿Cuándo? La siguiente palabra inicie con. Consonant. Mm -hmm. And we are going to use and when the, the, the following word Starts with a vowel. So, ahí ustedes pueden identificar. ¿Será la number two or number three? Number three. Number three. Number three. Yes, because number two, number two, desde ya estoy viendo el error. Look. Tengo una vocal aquí, a. Y la otra palabra inicia con vocal. ¿Es esto posible en inglés? No. 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 Desde ahí no. puedo descartarle y decir no. No es mi respuesta correcta. Así vayan ustedes identificando, recordando las reglas y todo lo que hemos visto. So you can complete this exercise. Ok. Is it clear this part? ¿Esta parte está clara? Yes, no. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. it is, right? Excellent. And then we have just comments. En este caso solo es comentarios. Comments about jobs. If it's boring or not. Number, conversation number two. Tenemos que identificar si es have or has. Ya les di la clave cómo hacerlo. And then we have conversation number three. Comments about the cashier's job. And if it is difficult sure. or not. The cashier's. Let's see, the last part. I guess this is the last part, right? Yes, then we start with section number four. So, questions about this class. ¿Se sienten listos para el midterm exam? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. 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 ¿Qué vamos a hacer si tenemos dudas, Bernardo? ¿Qué vamos sí, a hacer? Consultar al grupo o consultarle personalmente a usted. There you go. Please, class, escriban y no tengan pena. Yo estoy en WhatsApp. Saben que yo trabajo desde casa y siempre tengo 
eh, el WhatsApp abierto. ¿okay? Si no estoy conectada, pues también eh, veo mi teléfono usualmente a cada hora o cada momentito. Yo les ayudo. Don't worry. Ask me. Okay? That's my job. To help you. Okay? Ese es mi propósito. Aclarar dudas. Okay? So class. Comments about this class. ¿Cómo subo este repaso? ¿Cómo lo siento? Are we ready to start section number four on Monday? Yes or no? ¿Se sienten listos yes. para movernos a la section number four? Yes? No? Yes. Yes, yes, right? Yes. Because I'm ready. I hope you're ready. So let me see. Please. The ones who haven't completed. Veamos si será problema de la plataforma o no me aparece. Let me see. Let me check right now. Class, today, try to complete those exercises today or the last one, the last day, tomorrow, please. Tomorrow. Así cerramos la semana con section number one, two, and three. Done. Okay. Let me ask you. Um, Gabriela Nicole, do you have problems with the platform? Gabriela Nicole? ¿Has tenido problemas con la plataforma, Gaby? Sí, al principio sí tenía, no, no podía entrar, pero ya, ya pude. Bien, great <laughs> job. Excellent, excellent job. How about Juliana? Juliana, did you have problems with the platform? Julie? Yes, teacher. ¿Ha tenido problemas con la plataforma? Los... Eh, no, 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 no he tenido ahorita. ¿No? ¿Y cómo estamos? Problemas. Ok, con la sección 1, 2, 3, ¿cómo estamos, Juliana? Ok. Hoy voy a tratar de finalizar las teacher. Great job. Estoy viendo que me están enviando ya al chat. Vamos a tratar de resolver los clases, ¿ok? Aquí veo sus comentarios. No hay problema, ¿ok? Thank you. Eh, who else? ¿Quién más? Veamos. Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, section number one, two, and three. Todos estamos, andamos muy bien, clase. Los felicito mucho, ¿ok? Let me see. Kelly, Kelly Magdalena. Did you have problems with the platform? Kelly? Is Kelly in the class? I guess she's not, right? She's. Yeah, Kelly, Kelly. Problemas con la plataforma? Yes, no. Section number one, two, and three. No? So, questions class or comments about uh, this review? No comments? Oh, Kelly tiene problemas con la señal. Okay, Kelly, no hay problem. So, class, comments about the class or questions that you have? Yes, no? Or can we stop the class here? Yes. Class, I feel alone, me siento sola, díganme algo. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. ¿qué? ¿Tengo preguntas o todo es claro? No, no question. Yes. Ah, no, question, oh, okay. Yes. Okay, okay so, yeah. so, when are we going to meet? We are going to meet on Monday, okay? So, have a great rest of the night and a good weekend, okay? We are going to meet on Monday. Okay, so see you class. It was a pleasure to be here with you. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, good night. teacher. Bye -bye. No, thanks to you. Thanks to you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Miss, bye, -bye. Miss, Tell me. Miss, Tell me. Miss, Tell me. Eh, yo entré tarde. No sé si había pasado. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ahorita actualizo. Jancy. Okay. Don't yo worry, Jancy. Bien, teacher. Okay, let me see. Jancy and in Harrison. Okay. Ahorita les actualizo. Thank you, class. I'll see you. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye. Bye.